we're going to work through flow charting algorithm workbench 1 on page 261, which says to design an algorithm that prompts the user to enter a positive 90 number and validates the input. So we've already started off with an input output symbol and prompting the user to enter a positive 90 number. Again, using an input output symbol, we will input the number. However, we do not know if that number is valid. So the next thing we'll do is we will start a loop and make a decision. Is this number valid? Okay, so to be valid, number has to be greater than zero. So invalid would be less than or equal to zero. So that's the Boolean expression I'm going to use here. And I will go off and loop if that's true and enter the loop if that's true. So if that were true, I would have to give them some kind of error message. So another input output symbol to display my error message. And uh, then uh, ask them to rekey in a number, another number. Okay, and that got a little too long, so I'll make that a little bit wider. And so if it's not valid, I'll go into the loop, I'll tell them an error, and I'll prompt them for the correct data, and I will input the data again. Okay, and so, well, having input the data, I would need to then, perhaps it could be that, that data could be invalid. So I'm going to go ahead and put some flow lines in here and return that actually not to here, but to here if this is invalid. So here's my loop. Straighten it up a little bit. So here's my loop. I'm going to ask him to input a positive number. I input that number. Let's say the in input is zero. Well, if the input is zero, this will be true because zero less than or equal to zero is a true statement. I'll display an error. I'll ask them to rekey it in and we'll rekey it in. Let's say they input a 10 this time and we'll check is 10 less than or equal to zero. That's false. And false will have me then exiting the statement. So we'll just say this number is valid when a valid number is keyed and we exit the loop.